Welcome back to the channel, Disney and Devony, and today it's another episode of Pin Me Up Wednesday. Yay! <laughs> I love Wednesdays because I love when we showcase our pins. I love that we come together as a community, um, especially on, on this uh, hashtag Pin Me Up Wednesday, um, where any channel can join. All you have to do is put in the uh, description hashtag Pin Me Up Wednesday, and you're part of the Wednesdays collaboration. It is the coolest thing, and um, I'm very glad that it's doing so well. And there's a lot of participants every week. We have like mystery guests that appears, and it is so cool to see towards the end of the day how many joined. Um, so again, welcome to Pin Me Up Wednesday, and today I have, um, I put all my pins today in this Easter bowl. I'm in my, I'm in my dining room today because of the uh, construction they're doing in the back. So um, I decided to let's just come out this way and I will film over here and it's a little bit much easier, more roomy and spacier. So uh, with that said, I have pins today from Box Lunch. A lot of them are from Box Lunch and also from Amazon. And then of course, a few that I did purchase off Mercari and um, I'm moving along with my extravaganza pins and I have been collecting and I am almost done with that collection. So if that's something you wanna see, then let's get started. I have my boards ready. I have the uh, purple board that uh, Shay gave me so that I can display one pin at a time. I don't have to go like this anymore. So now I have this, I can use that. And I have my bigger board. So this is where I'm gonna be laying all of the pins. So the very first pin I'm going to pull from this um, basket is going to be, um, it's called the Tell a Fairy Tale, the limited edition of 4,000. It says it on the back and it is really, really pretty. Look at that. You see Prince Philip, you see um, Aurora, you see fair, um, Flora, Fauna and Meriwether. And then in the background here, you see Maleficent right there. So again, this is a 2020 limited edition celebrate today pin. Okay, so moving right along, the next pin that I was able to purchase, um, oh boy, okay, this is also, I think it's um, from the Food and Wine Festival, but it is the 25th anniversary and for the year 2020. And again, it is an Aurora pin. But this one is of the three fairies where they were making the cake for her 16th birthday. Here is the pin. And again, it is for the Food and Wine Festival for the year 2020. I'm gonna move it to the side because it's too much of a glare. And you can see it there. It's the three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, and they're making that cake, a uh, 16 layer cake for um, Briar Rose. And it is so pretty, very pretty pink. It's pin on pin, you can see right there, a pin on pin this way and that way. The next pin is from Box Lunch and it is um, of Belle. Let me take this off so we can take a better look at it. Let me tell you guys, um, Box Lunch has been like really killing it with these pins of late. Look at this one of Belle. It gives me, it's giving like the Paris pin uh, vibes. So stunning, very pretty. Look at her updo, look at the wisp in her face. Look at her gloves and then her dress that's off the shoulders and then you see the flowers at the bottom. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pin from Box Lunch. Here's another one of Belle. Look at this one. I'm telling you, they are just like nonstop, just having their day in the sun. Let me take this one out. Okay, so just take a look at this pin. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the background. It's like the window pane is purplish and then her little outfit is so cute look she's got her signature garb on she's reading a book her hair looks so gorgeous here and I love the books that are laying right here and then the little dome of the rose just to remind her of the fairy tale so the next one is now we're gonna change the scenery and this one is of Snow White and again like I said they're reminding me of Paris pins so let me take this one off so we could take a better look at her. And this is Snow White up close. Look at the woodland creatures there as well. Look at the little rabbit. See her with the two blue birds. There's a bird here and a bird there. And I love her outfit. And then look how pretty her face looks. And I love the fact that it's in a heart shape and the back of the heart is like a pink color. Okay, and next up, 
I'm telling you, they're, they're gorgeous pins. Look at this. This one, Snow White again. So let me take her out so we could take a better look at this pin. Just stunning. Okay. Here we go. Look at this pin. Look how go I love her face. Okay, we're almost here, guys. We still got a few more to go. Okay, so the next pin. Okay, this one is the cutie. So we have Marie with her two brothers, Berlioz and Toulouse. I think this is Toulouse, and that's Berlioz up there. And um, they're playing with the yarn, and it's so cute. This is a darling, darling pin. Okay, and this next pin, it comes from um, Amazon. And this one is pretty much a friendship pin, and you see here we have Daisy with Minnie Mouse. So this pin is just so darling. You see them here, they're having tea. You see Daisy with her bow, Minnie with her bow, and they're pretty much just chit-chatting, just two girlfriends having tea in the afternoon. Very pretty, very pastel-y. I love this. I really, really wanted this pin, and it is from the parks. It's an official park pin, so I just adore it. And basically, it's a pin on pin. You can see that right there, pin on pin. The table is the pin on top of the other pin. So this next pin is also from Box Lunch. And I'm really starting to get into like the Marie pins, her and her brother. I have, I think I did get like one or two Duchess, so I do want to get Duchess as well. But this one is a darling, it's like a little globe pin with Marie. And inside the pin is actually a carton of milk with a glass of milk and then there's macaroons right here, three macaroons. And then of course inside the globe is um, little, they look like little confettis inside of it, little balls that move up and down. And uh, it's such a pretty pastel-y of a pin. I would say more like, these are all like Eastery theme um, pins. And look how pretty she looks with her little bow. And I love all the glitter around the rim of this pin. And it, it is a pin on pin. You can see that Next there. Next pin from Box Lunch is of Cinderella. And this is gorgeous too. Look at this. You see her in her signature dress. I love the choker and I love her hair that's, you know, swept up. And I love the um, castle in the background. And I love, look at that. You see all the starry nights here, just pretty. And the, the silhouette or the outline of the pin is actually like a pumpkin, it looks like it. Just gorgeous. Let me take it off the backer so we can get a better look. So here's the pin much clearer look how much nicer that is more up close and i didn't realize it but in her hand right here um she has her glass slipper in her hand so this is a really beautifully um drawn and depicted pin just captures the cinderella moment you know everything from the tower with the clock that symbolizes the end of her uh, magical night and I love that, uh, you know, you see the blue sky because everything happens at night. And I just love her outfit, her hair. Everything is just pretty on this pin. Okay, so moving on. Alrighty, so these pins came out um, on Boxline. They just randomly appeared up one day on the website. And I love Star Wars. I collect Star Wars as well. Um, my husband is more the fandom of Star Wars. I am too, but he is so much that he can... Uh, quote you the uh, characters, the lines, everything um, about Star Wars. So I, you know, I have a Star Wars board. Um, so I wanted to get as many pins as I can of Star Wars. And this one is R2-D2 in a floral arrangement here. So pretty, I'm loving it. Just gorgeous and it's all gold enameled. And uh, it just really depicts him very well. And um, just a pretty version of, um, you know, of a pin that you would want to collect. You cannot have R2-D2 without having Darth Vader. So here is Darth Vader, and this one looks amazing. Look at this pin. It's a beautiful pin. It's gold enameled all around the border. And look at Darth Vader's, um, his, uh, his mask. This next pin I purchased from um, Mercari. Uh, someone was selling it, and I really wanted it because it's Clarice. And look how adorable this pin is. And I love Clarice here. She looks so gorgeous. She's got her feathered hat and her long dress with her gloves on. 
And um, if you don't know who Clarice is, she is the love interest of Chip and Dale. And um, she, <laughs> she made her debut with them, I think in one of their short films. So this is where you will see her. Um, and she's just so gorgeous and so cute. And I thought this would look so amazing on my Chip and Dale board. <laughs> So I loved this Clarice pin and she, like I said, she's a small, tiny little pin. Look at that, but she's gorgeous nonetheless. Okay. So finishing up or trying to get, um, some more pins for my, um, Elsa and Anna board. I was able to find an Olaf pin at, um, box lunch. Look at this one. Now this is a gorgeous pin because it's so glittery and look at the background. It matches Elsa. And it's that winter blue with teal and white and it's shimmery and glittery and it's Olaf in the center and I am loving it. Look how gorgeous. So this next pin just also got released from Box Lunch and it is Buzz Lightyear. Um, and this is actually, uh, this is not from um, Toy Story. This is uh, Lightyear, his movie that came out in 2022. And um, here, cause you see it's an intergalactic and he's like the space ranger there, out there in space. So this is a really gorgeous pin that just, like I said, just got released from Box Buzz Lightyear is going to go really nice on my Pixar board. Cause I do have a small Pixar board. And um, these next two pins are also, um, they're from Toy Story as well. So this one coming up now is of the space aliens from Box Lunch. Look at this one. Look how adorable. I love it. You can see where they say it's the ah! <laughs> So cute. I love this one. And there's no like shimmer on it, but it, it does depict the movie. Um, and, and I absolutely love it. I'm like, wow, this is going to go great on my Pixar board. So this last one from Box Lunch, um, also for the Pixar board, is of Woody, Sheriff Woody. Look at this pin just released i am loving this one now i really wish they would do one of wheezy and um you know of um maybe ham and the other characters jesse like i haven't seen one of jesse yet but that would be so great but look how adorable this woody pin is and i love his hat and the background i love it because it's andy's room you see the clouds and i love that his this whole thing is his rope and then it forms the word Woody here. Such a cute pin. Okay, so this last pin, this is the last one for today. Um, it's to complete my extravaganza um, collection, but it doesn't complete. I'm missing one more and one more is still on its way. And it is the mini egg extravaganza pin. This is such a gorgeous pin. Let me take her off and then I will show you how so far this collection is coming. So here we have Minnie as an egg. Love her little hat at the top, still has that little flower. I love her little face. And I love that down here is still her signature colors, but she's an egg <laughs> and it's so cute. And I think this is from Easter 2023, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that mini was a limited release. All of the extravaganza eggs were a limited release. So I'm gonna show you the board, then I'll show you the collection with the extravaganza one. So here we go with the board. These were some gorgeous pins today. Look at that. I am loving it. Started off with uh, Sleeping Beauty right here. Then it drifted off to Belle. Then Snow White, <laughs> it just like random orders, but so pretty. And then, you know, we got Clarice here, which you don't see a lot of her. And then we ended with the Pixar one. And then I'm just so happy to continue collecting some Elsa um, side characters there. Very nice. And now let me show you guys the extravaganza pin. So. I am almost done. I'm missing Pluto and he's on his way. So I have Daisy Donald, which Sandra from Creatively Sandra helped me get this one. And I already, the, the, the collection started with um, Dale. So this started with him. I loved it. And I was like, okay, I have to get the rest of them. And um, here we are. And then of course, this is from Sandra as well, but this one is a little bit um, scratched here. So later on, we'll try to collect a better version of it. 
but um, I have many to go with him and then now I have Pluto that's gonna be coming. So I think after that, I think I'm done because I have not seen Dale to go with Chip um, and I haven't seen Goofy. Um, they have newer ones for this year, but this is the collection. This year is the one I wanna okay, collect. Okay guys, so we're gonna end the pin uh, collection right there. But before I go, I wanted to show you guys um, something new that I purchased off of Marcy Mao's website. Um, she's the one that I usually buy my pins from on Fridays and um, she's starting to sell these gorgeous pins. Look at this. She takes the uh, durables and she, I don't know, I don't know how she creates these pins, but it's becoming the hottest thing lately and this was the first one that I ordered was the Little Mermaid. Let me take her out so you can see the bling. Okay guys, so this is the pin. Look at this pin that I got, I bought from Marcy Mouse. She hand makes them from the Dorables. Look at that. Look at all that bling that she puts into these pins. They are so gorgeous and she keeps making better and better ones. And I think you twist it and yeah, you twist it and then you can start using it. So this was the first one that I did get from her, which I absolutely loved. And I'll show you the other ones that I got from her. Okay, so this next one is of Peter Pan. Look at this one. And these pins are like $6. She charges $6 to make these pins. Look how gorgeous. So she does put blingage on them. And this one doesn't have too, too much bling. Um, like the, um, like the um, Ariel one did. Look at that. But it's still super cute. And then I was able to get um, I think this is Flynn or is it Dot? I'm not sure from, um, it's a Bug's Life. I wanna say it's Dot. And look at this one. This one is so cute that she made. Look at all, and this one, it moves. Look at that, each individual piece moves. This last pin is Aladdin. Look at that, in his, um, I guess his royal garb. Can you see that one? Yeah, there we go. This is Aladdin. And like I said, she now sells these pins and they are $6 each. Just gorgeous. But I think she kind of just started raising the price by a dollar more. So instead of six, I think there are seven now. But if you want one of these pins, she will, she sells them so you can order them. And she recently just advertised a Maleficent one which I was like, oh, I want that one, but it's sold out. So I'll wait till she makes some more and I'll get that. So these pins have become my newest obsession. <laughs> I am love, because I love pins. Look at that. Alrighty guys, so that's everything for today. I hope you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for taking your time out in your day to look at these gorgeous pins. Today, Box Lunch was the sponsor of all these pins today. They were gorgeous. They are definitely giving me Paris pin vibes. They are anteing up their game and they are really making their pins to the next level. Gorgeous. So if you like the contents of this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications so you're the first to be notified when I post up a video, which I try to do twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And if I can on Saturdays, I try to do it by Sunday. <laughs> That's my commitment to you guys. Um, either way, um, thank you. Let me know if you got, which one was your favorite? I forgot to ask. Did you have a favorite today? Let me know. Was it the Buzz Lightyear? Wasn't that one cool? I love that one. I, you don't see too much of Lightyear. Um, as a space ranger. So I, I did like that one. That was pretty cool. So I will have to say, yes, they were all beautiful, but I would have to say uh, Buzz. Buzz was the one that did it for me today. He's at the top of my list. <laughs> I always pick one out of my bunch. So definitely, yes, he was um, very pretty and one of the new releases too. So um, with that said, guys, I will see you in my next video. Take care and be well. And until next time, bye.